if the use of AI, machine learning, deep learning, whatnot, if the use of that uh, for clinical decision support was a baseball game, what inning would we be in today? Wow. So you know that um, whenever I'm asked a question like that, I divide it into technology, policy, and culture. Okay. So technology, do we have robust cloud-based AI factories? Absolutely. TensorFlow, a whole variety of approaches with the curated data of Mayo Clinic and these AI factories, can we produce algorithms without question? Do we have the policy guardrails and guidelines for the use of AI algorithms in healthcare? Not quite yet, right? Mayo Clinic is very careful to use algorithms in a not closed loop fashion, meaning the AI isn't making a decision. An AI may say, hey, clinician, have you thought of this diagnosis? Or maybe you should consider taking a look at the patient's condition because it looks like it's changed. But you can imagine the industry is going to set a whole variety of best practices and implementation guidance in place over the next six quarters. And FDA will certainly start to issue its guidance for the use of AI. But culture. So I'm going to ask you an interesting question, Gary. I am going to use an algorithm today to analyze your heart rate. And it will make me a 30% better doctor if I do that. How do you feel about that? Well, I will just tell you that some people say, wow, that's really good. And others, and just let's be honest about the bad sci-fi we've all seen, say, oh, my God, you, you release the, a the AI. The next thing you know, the robots take over humanity. <laughs> so culturally, I think we're still at pretty like inning one or two of deciding that AI should be a part of our daily lives.